Dr. Maguire, um, Detective Constable Foster and... DCS. Thanks for coming in. Sit down, please. Thank you, Katrina. That's all. I know we spoke briefly on Friday, but I need to go over some details concerning the incident with your son. Yeah, of course. Firstly, can you tell me how you discovered Liam? Uh, I was driving to the surgery. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Liam! And the ambulance was there within five minutes. Was anyone in the vicinity? And the building was secure? Well, it wasn't completely locked because everyone knew I was coming back. So anybody could have walked in there? No, no, they'd had to have had a front door key. Had there been any trouble with any patients earlier in the day? Not that I'm aware of. You have to talk to my colleagues. Well, we'll need to speak to anyone that's here on Thursday evening. At the police station. Yeah, yeah. Does Liam have any enemies? No. Not that I'm aware of. Campbell, please. It's Justine Fraser. About what? About Liam, of course. Katrina, it would be more helpful if you spent less time gossiping and more time concentrating on your work. I was only asking. Have you got any theories about Thursday? No. Well, the police are still in with Mac. They obviously don't think it was an accident. I wonder who's on the list of suspects. Katrina, this isn't a matter for idle chit-chat. Liam is still critically ill in hospital. Um, is Faith in? Not yet. Right. I hope you're in a better mood. What? Mark and Ben have just bitten my head off. Really? Did you remember the biscuits? No, I forgot. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, Mark was asking after you. She's been like that since the weekend. I think the accident with Liam really shook her up. It was a shock to all of us. Hello, Riverside. Island, how are you? Well, we're all thinking of you. Um, yeah, I'll, um, bring them round later. OK, bye. Is she all right? Well, she sounds OK. You know Helen. She asked me to pick up these from the chemist. They're the last photographs of Phil with the kids. Liam Maguire. Yes? Do you get on well with him? We're not friends, if that's what you mean. Oh, well, don't much like him, then. I don't see how my opinion of him is relevant. I'm interested, that's all. What are you getting at? Let's just go through your movements on Thursday evening. I went back to the surgery at about six. Isn't it closed, then? Yes, but I'd been on a call and I needed to write out my notes. On a Thursday night? I like to do it while the incident is still fresh in my memory. It's what the police do, isn't it? Absolutely. When did you finally leave the surgery? 
at 25 past seven. And was anyone still there? Um, I think Kate and the girls had gone. Dr Kwame was there. And um, I think the nurse, Faith Walker. And did you see Liam Maguire? Yes. Right. Katrina, I've got to go and see the police. I've moved on my appointments for this afternoon. Best of luck. Thanks. Katrina, sorry. Looks like you've got all of Mark's patients here. Yeah, well, I've given some to Ben and even Max taken a few, but with Helen being away... Sorry, I'm just having a bit of a bad day. Dr Hamada, she's just taken a turn for the worst. Justine, I can't see you today. I've taken an overdose. Well, if you'd just like to take a seat, I'll see if I can see you later. Is this all of them? Yeah, uh, what about her? Oh, she'll be all right, don't worry about her. Mr. Bleasdale. Let's go over it again. Maybe something you've forgotten. It's very simple. I left the surgery, I locked the doors. Watch where you're going. And you want to turn your lights on. Life's too short. And you left it at that? What do you mean? You drove off. That's what I told you. Mr Maguire went a bit over the top, didn't he? Well, I suppose so. I mean, all you did was forget to turn your lights on. An ordinary, everyday mistake. And yet there he is, dumping the bonnet of your car. Is that all there was to it? I don't understand what you're getting at. Has he ever been like that with you before? No. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. You seem... What should we say? A little bit cross about all this. Do I? Almost agitated. Are you saying I'm trying to hide something? I haven't suggested that. <laughs> you think I attacked him? Did you? I did not assault Liam Maguire. Plain hooky. Oh, you caught me. I've had it up to here today with patients. Oh, tell me about it. I still don't know whether to go. Where? Well, the funeral. Why shouldn't you? I would have thought that was obvious. You were driving a car. It wasn't your fault. It's not that simple. Well, it's up to you. Thanks for the help. I'm sorry, I've got things on my mind. Yeah, we'll join the club. Have you seen Faith? She went to the police station earlier. Oh. Why? I was just hoping to, um... You don't think she'll tell the police about Liam and the... The rape? No, it happened too long ago. Yeah, but you know the police. They could wheedle it out of her. What, you think the attack on Liam had something to do with the rape? No, I'm not saying that at all, but... It's Justine Fraser. She's not looking very good. Should I call an ambulance? No, there's no point. Well, she says she's taken an overdose. Yes, and she said that last week. And the week before that, and the week before that, and the week before that. And every time she goes to the hospital and has her stomach pumped and her blood tested, there isn't a single sign of any harmful substance. Really? Yes. Justine Fraser is suffering from Munchausen syndrome. Or what my mum would call attention seeking. Yeah, exactly. Only she usually goes to A&E, but they're getting to know her now. She probably thinks she gets more sympathy here. But she's chosen the wrong doctor on the wrong day. Mm. Tell us about Liam Maguire. Hardly know him. Really. That's not the impression his father gave us. What did he say? We'd like to hear what you have to say about it, Miss Walker. Well, um, he asked me out a couple of times. Did you go? Yeah. And that's it, really. 
Okay. You were at the surgery until... About half seven. Hi, Faith. I've got to go. See ya. So that's the last time you saw him? Yes. I still don't understand your relationship with Liam. What don't you understand? Have you had sex with him, Miss Walker? I don't see that that's any of your business. You're quite right. I apologise. Besides, you wouldn't be the first young woman to sleep with the boss's son. in two weeks, then come back. Katrina! I'm sorry, but you've got to come and have a look at Justine Fraser. I think she's really ill. And when did you train as a doctor? Well, I'm just doing my job. Which is what I am trying to do. Excuse me, I won't be long. Taking an overdose? Justine, can you hear me? Justine, what have you taken? Get the emergency kit. Well, where is it? It's behind the reception. Come on, Justine, don't go to sleep now. Come on, Justine. Think of anything else than call me. I've told you everything. Take it just in case. Okay. If she's overdosed, what the hell's she doing here? Carly didn't think it was for real. What? Okay, okay. Okay, what's she taking? I don't know, but she's been sick. Huh. Oh well, that's good. Can you give me a hand to get a jacket off, please? Yeah. What's her name? Justine. Justine Fraser. Justine, come on, love. Stay with us, please. Did she tell you she'd ever done? Well? Well, she said it, but this isn't the first time. Come on, Carly, it's a simple enough question. Did she or did she not tell you that she's overdosed? Yes. Thank you. Is it? Yes. How long is this going to take? I wouldn't like to commit myself, Doctor. If you'd like to just wait in there, we'll try not to keep you. Well, I do have to get back. And thank you for your patience. It's like they're doing us a favour just by turning up here. <laughs> Give me a proper villain any time. At least you know he's done with bank robbers. Exactly. But even medics, they're the ones usually asking the questions. They don't like it when it's the other way around. Shall we, um. Yeah, in a minute. Just give him time to collect his thoughts. Is there anybody you want us to call? You're going to be fine. There's a note. Shall we talk in my room? patient who says she's taking an overdose was left in reception for over an hour. I thought she was lying. Ah, you thought she was lying. She always has been before. Wasn't today, though, was she? Sorry. Carly, your notes quite clearly say she is vulnerable and unstable, someone therefore quite capable of taking an overdose at any time. Yes, but... No buts, Carly. God, your timing is immaculate. My son is in intensive care. Half my staff are at the police station, and you choose now to let a patient nearly die. But every time Yeah, she's... yeah, yeah. Well, no more excuses, please. I've had enough. I haven't finished with you yet.
Dr. Campbell? Dr. McGuire, long time no see. Yes? I've been treating Justine on and off for the last year. Although she's not proving to be one of psychiatry's great success stories. Well, I've got some bad news. She collapsed at the surgery this morning and... Uh... I'm afraid she's taking an overdose. She's on the way to some fills in an ambulance. Thanks for letting me know. Uh-huh. I'll go down and see her. Good. I'll meet you in casualty. I cannot tell you how disappointed I am. You let your attitude cloud your judgment. I know. And apart from anything else, it's completely unprofessional. Sorry. Carly, no matter how often a patient presents himself with a problem, you always have to treat it as if it's the first time. It's all here in black and white. Justine has Munchausen's syndrome, which, as I'm sure you learned at medical school, is a serious mental illness. I realise that. Ah, so you realise, do you, that sufferers pretend that they're ill or do themselves actual bodily harm because they want attention. They are not hypochondriacs and they must not be treated as time wasters. I didn't. That is exactly what you did. Does that mean you're going to... It means that I have patients to visit and then I am going to St Phil's. Should I come with you? No, I think you've done enough damage for one day and we've got too many doctors missing as it is. I'm going to visit Liam while I'm there. I'm so sorry. Let's hope for your sake that she pulls through. Let me apologise for keeping you waiting for so long. So, uh, what time did you leave Riverside? Around 7.30. And did you see Liam Maguire? Yes. I was going home. Ah, Ben. Did you want something? I'm here to see Dad. Right. And that's it. Did he go into the surgery? I guess so. Nobody appears to think very much of this Liam Maguire. Or even care whether he lives or dies. But he's not going to die. Is he? Are we keeping you? Um, I've told you everything I know. So that's it, end of story. You left him by the surgery and went home? Yes. Good. Oh, is that it? Yeah. For now. Of course, we'll need to take a much fuller statement if this should turn into a murder inquiry. Murder? He's not out of the woods yet, Dr. Kwame. Thank you. How is she? She'll live. They pumped her stomach and they're about to take her to ICU. What about long-term damage? Well, it looks like a concoction of different drugs. Obviously, when she comes to, we'll know more. They're running tests on her liver. We'll have to wait and see. Funny thing is, she rang me this morning, but hung up before I could pick up the phone. I called her straight back, but there was no reply. What's behind all this? It's a classic case in many ways. Sexually abused as a child. Years spent going from foster home to foster home, out on the streets at 16. She spent her whole life being told she's not wanted. Justine's a very damaged individual. Right. Nobody ever gave her any care. So she came up with a way to get what she wanted. She started turning up at casualty now and then. First, it was stomach pains. Other times, it was headaches. But because they were non-specific, there was rarely any medical intervention. And then came the overdoses. Yes, except, of course, she'd never taken anything. But she had to be treated. Stomach pumped, kept in overnight. She got all the care and attention she craved. When she'd done it a couple of times, I was called in and diagnosed Munchausen. 
Justine's a typical sufferer. She disappears for weeks at a time. And then she either turns up in casualty or arrives unannounced at my office. What about today? I think that this time, it's a cry for help from a desperately unhappy woman. There was always a chance that eventually she would go ahead and take an overdose for real. Okay. So what's next? Hopefully, she'll agree to come in for a stay voluntarily. If not, we'll have to look at having her sectioned for our own safety. I gather she's not your patient. No, no, she's Dr. Armadas. Ah, the lovely Carly. <laughs> I always thought that that was a rather unfortunate name for a doctor. Sorry? Carly, Hindu goddess of death and destruction. I might have killed her. Mac would have called by now. You should have heard him. He crucified me, and I deserved it. Do you think I should ring and see if Justine's OK? No, leave it. Let Mac calm down. Look, Carly, I really need to... Me? No, everybody makes mistakes. Oh, well, that's not the line that he was taking. Look, Carly, look, I know you've got problems, but I really need oh, to... That's an understatement. I mean, it's not just Justine, is it? I mean, it's still... It's Phil. I still feel guilty about him, whatever you say. Yeah, but I'm sure Helen doesn't think that way. Don't you? No! Well, that's the impression she gave me. She was upset. Yes, and she had every right to be. I was the one at the wheel when her husband was killed. Justine. Justine, can you hear me? You're in hospital. Can you remember what happened? You've had your stomach pumped. I'm sorry. Why did you do it? I just wanted to stop. You want what to stop? Everything. The pain. I hate feeling like this. Justine, it doesn't have to be like this. Doesn't it? I can help you if you let me. But I need to see you regularly. What about now? There are the drugs we talked about before. They can help stop you feeling so unhappy while we sort things out. I want to get better. It would be best if you stayed in hospital for a while. I don't want to be on my own. You won't be. How's Justine? Alive. We don't know what damage has been done. Talk later. Well, what's the news? Alive. No, I mean Liam. Um, I, I don't know. No change, I guess. Max said there could be complications. With Justine. Look, Carly, I really need to talk to you about something. What? I didn't tell the police everything I know about Thursday night. What, you forgot something? Not exactly. What? Did you see somebody? Well, it's more than that. Well, you know who did it? Yes. You, you've got to tell the police, then. It was me. What? I was with Liam. I don't understand. I hit him. What happened? Ah. Hi. Did you want something? I'm here to see Dad. Right. You're not going to have a go, then? What? I don't like being threatened. But you got nerve after what you did to Faith. What did I do to Faith? You raped her and you know you did. I didn't. I haven't got time to listen to your lies. She wanted me, she just can't you admit what? it. what? She's a lying slut. Go! Ah!
to do? What if I've killed him? 